Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Conversational English. Today, we have lesson three for you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. And that's a kind of expression which we'll be explaining to you later. And you'll be able to hear it and see it, the body language of it, uh, in both of the dialogues that we're going to show you. That is, we have one dialogue, but we show it twice. Uh, for the part one of our lesson, the preview, uh, Becky and Edward Hudson are, uh, sorry, Betty, the mother is Betty. Betty and Edward Hudson have moved into their apartment. We saw their living room. Last week we saw their bedroom. And today we're going to see their bathroom. Uh, so that you can know how to talk about things that are in a bathroom. Uh, it's a very important part of your house, and uh, you should know how to talk about it. So that's what today's lesson is going to be about. Mm. 那么各位同学们好 so, now we're ready for the first showing of today's dialogue. Now it's time to use the bathroom to get ready for bed. I just want to freshen up a bit. I need to wash my face and hands. I don't need to use the toilet. Fine. I'm going to remove my makeup and then wash my face and hands too. <laughs> but first, we have to put our toiletries out and some towels. There are two boxes we have to unpack. This one is marked toiletries. Let me do this one. OK. Uh, I'll do this other one labeled bathroom towels. Mm -hmm. Nothing broke. I was afraid some of my makeup bottles might break in transit. That's good news. I hope this shelf is big enough to hold both our things. Yours are ten times more than mine. You are always exaggerating. Are there enough towels for us to use at least for tonight? There are plenty in here. I'll hang two bath towels. Two hand towels. Uh -huh. And two face claws. Will that be enough for you? For tonight, yes. You can put the extra towels in the small cabinet down there. We use so many every week. Uh, you mean every day. You use at least two bath towels a day. Exaggerating again. At least I like to keep clean. If I didn't change the towel, you'd use them till they turn black. Who's exaggerating now? Hey, hey, uh, let me use the sink first. I just want to freshen up a bit. It takes you forever to do that stuff. I don't. But go ahead and use the sink first. I want to pee after you are finishing here. Thanks.
there. Your turn. You didn't rinse the handle and faucet. Now they're all soggy and dirty. They're fine. Don't be so picky. <sighs> if you are finished here, get out of here. I'm going to have my beauty treatment. I'll meet you in bed. See you in a couple of hours. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Quite a couple. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Betty and Edward are a typical married couple, <clears throat> and we'll leave that right there. And uh, we need to go on now to part three. Mm -hmm. Or are we going to take a break first? Mm, no problem with that. Why don't we take a break because we have a long vocabulary list for you today, mm -hmm. uh, the part three words and phrases. So. Let's take a break. We're right back, and we have part three words and phrases. Let's get busy with the list. Freshen up, freshen up. Shushi. After his nap, Ted went into the bathroom to wash his face and freshen up. Toilet, toilet. Ma tong. It's important to keep the bathroom toilet clean at all times. Remove. Remove. Paint is often very hard to remove from furniture, clothing, and one's hands. 通常, 家具, 衣服, Make up. Make up. Tina entered the first floor of the department store to buy some new makeup. Tina Towel, towel. Mao Jing. Emma likes to use a fresh towel after each time she takes a bath. Emma like In transit, in transit. We'd better pack these glasses in thick paper so they won't break in transit from the factory to the store. Shelf. Shelves. The professor's office had many shelves full of thick books. Exaggerate. Exaggerate. If people exaggerate too often, after a while, others will not believe anything they say. 如果人常常言语夸张，过了一阵子，其他人就不会相信他们所说的任何话了。Bath towel, bath towel. 浴巾. When you finish your bath, use the red bath towel, and I'll use the green one. 
你洗完澡后用那条红色的浴巾，我会用绿色的那条。Hand towel. Hand towel. 擦手巾。We keep a couple of hand towels in the kitchen to dry our hands after washing them. 我们在厨房里放了几条擦手巾，洗完手后拿来擦干。Face cloth, face cloth. 洗脸巾 Judy put some soap on her face cloth and carefully washed her face. Judy 在洗脸巾上抹了些肥皂，然后仔细的洗脸 Cabinet, cabinet. 柜子 Our kitchen cabinets are full of packaged and bottled food. 我们厨房里的柜子塞满了袋装和瓶装的食物。Sink, sink. 洗手台。There's something wrong with the bathroom sink. The water goes down too slowly. 浴室的洗手台有点问题，水流不太下去。P, P， 小便。Tom left the camp area and went into the woods to pee. 汤姆离开营地，到树林里去小便。Turn, turn， 轮次。Our two children take turns doing the weekly house chores like floor washing and laundry. 我们的两个小孩轮流做每周的家事，例如擦地板跟洗衣服。饿，饿，饿。There's a dead dog in front of our apartment building. 有一只狗的尸体在我们公寓门口，哎，呜。Rinse, rinse. 清洗。After using soap, be sure to rinse your hands well to remove it. 记得在抹完肥皂后，要用水把手洗干净了才清得掉。Handle, handle. 水龙头手把 The right handle on the sink is for hot water, and the left one is for cold water. 转开洗手台右边的水龙头，手把会流出热水；转左边会流出冷水。Faucet, faucet. 水龙头 Some faucets have automatic control, so you don't need to touch any dials. 有些水龙头会自动控温，所以你不需要去转动任何手把。Soapy, soapy. 涂有肥皂的。The small child cried when soapy water went into her eyes while she was taking a bath. 小孩在洗澡时，肥皂水不小心跑到眼睛里，使得他哇哇大哭。Picky, picky. 挑剔。My sister is a picky eater. It seems there are more kinds of food that she doesn't like than she likes. 我妹妹很挑食，她不喜欢吃的东西比她喜欢吃的还要多。Beauty treatment. Beauty treatment. 美容保养 Isabel goes to the beauty shop once a week for a complete beauty treatment. 
伊莎贝每周到美容院做一次彻底的美容保养。I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 我会假装没听到 All your clothes seem to be too small recently. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 最近你的衣服看起来紧了点哦。我会假装没听到。Well, that finishes the list reading of it,、uh, both the English and the Chinese.、Yep. But there are a couple points here I'd like to go over.、Uh, the fourth item, makeup. Some of you may、uh, look at that and think, "Hey, isn't that two words?" In fact, in English,、uh, sometimes make up is two words. Sometimes it's one word. It depends on how it's used. In our sentence,、uh, Tina bought some new makeup. That's a noun. It's the object of the verb bought. She bought what? She bought makeup. As a noun, makeup is usually one word. But if you use it as a verb, then we usually separate it.、Uh, Lori made up before she went out. Made feng kai up. Then it becomes two words. This sometimes happens with words、uh, like makeup that are a verb plus、uh, either an adverb or a preposition. Mm-hmm. OK， 所以呢，刚这边提到的就是 Bruce 老师叫大家特别小心哦。我们的这个第四个单字化妆品，因为它刚好是这个名词，所以大家发现它是拼在一块是一个字的。但是有时候呢，如果你看到它是分开，就是 make 跟 up 分开，那是因为它变成了一个动词片语来使用，所以你就会看到分开的两个字哦。所以不要搞混，以为自己写错了。一个是当名词用，合在一块跟一个当动词片语用，就分开，就这这么简单。Okay, and the second point is kind of cute. Number fifteen is P. P can be. This is anybody can say this.、Yep. Uh, even for children, it's not a bad word.、Uh, now it can be a noun or a verb. So、uh, Johnny peed in the woods. Uh, uh, there's some pee on the floor. I have to mop the floor. 嗯哼，所以呢，那讲到这个小便这个字，其实在英文里面它非常非常的普通，那小孩子也都会说哦，所以其实它一点都没有什么不雅啦，或者是呃不好的意思，它是一个很单纯的字。那所以像刚刚呢，这个 Bruce 老师举的例子，不管把它当成是动词去小便，或者是地上有看到一些这个小便要来拖干净，好、哦、当名词用都可以。Right, okay. Time for a break. Yes, we will take a break. Next, we will come back to our fourth and fifth unit. Okay, we are going to look at our extra serving for this week. You won't find it on this program. You will find it in either the workbook. Or the radio.、Uh, sometimes what we tell you will be on the radio program. At other times, it will be in the workbook. However, if I say it's in the in the radio、uh, on the radio program, it doesn't mean you don't have to look at your workbook. Your workbook will have still other information that is useful for you. Uh, today, uh, I want to remind you that the workbook is going to have some more. So-called words like "uh," which is a sound. However, in English, we represent this sound, which has many, many different pronunciations. Something that is disgusting, "uh," "uh," "u g h," and often with the exclamation point after it to show you that it's a sound. So when you see this,、uh, don't try to pronounce "ugh." -huh. Or something like that. It's however you make a sound when you feel disgusted. Hmm. 
好，所以呢，在我们这个礼拜的 Extra Service 里面呢 ，Bruce 老师会教大家蛮多的，我们中文称为撞声词这样的一个英文单字哦。举个例子，像刚刚的 U G H， 它其实就是在模仿一种声音。那这个声音是当你看到某个东西的耳先生说呃这样，而且你应该会有正确的一个呃面部的表情，我们叫 facial expression， 应该都是这一起的啊、哦。所以呢，这样子的字就像刚老师说，不用去发那个呃哥哈这样子 ，OK， 它其实就是那个声音，然后要带那个表情。Can you show us the facial expression again? Ooh, excellent. 好，所以这个礼拜会学到的是这个很多撞声词很有趣的。Okay, now let's take a look at part five. You know, I really like tests. I know you do. I like giving them, not you, taking them. Yes, and you said that like a thousand <laughs> times. 这个时候就是夸饰法啊 ，exaggeration. <laughs> hmm. Okay.、Uh, Now let's do the quiz. Let's take a look at it. All right.、Uh, there are two columns here, two lists. Column A has five items, as you can see now on your screen, A through E. Column B, as you can see now, has one through seven. Definitions, explanations, or descriptions. Let's just do one, and I'm sure you'll know how to do this.、Mm -hmm. A is bath towel, and if we look at one through seven, we know that we use a bath towel to dry our body after a bath. So we should choose number four. 嗯，所以我们在这个第一个 A 的选项呢，我们有看到的这个是浴巾。那正确的话，你应该会连连看，连到四，就是呢是用来擦干身体用的。All right, B, brush. Remember that means hair brush. So of course, we should choose number five to make your hair neat. 嗯。那么 B 这个选项呢 ，brush 我们讲过了，刷子通常指的就是发刷，所以呢，你要连连看会连到第五个，就是让你的头发可以很整齐。The next is C, shelf, and of course the shelf is a place to keep or store things, so you should choose number seven. 嗯。那么 C 也很简单哦，这个柜子或架子，那么当当然是用来这个储放东西用的，所以你会连到第七。Number,、uh, not number. Letter D is face cloth, and of course, that's number two to wash your face. 嗯，那么这个 D 呢，洗脸巾当然就是用来洗脸的喽。所以我们看到的就是二，它是我们要的选项。我们连到二。Our last item on the quiz is E, handle, and as we had in the dialogue, it's used. To turn things on, so that's number three. 嗯，那么最后一个呢？我们看到的手把，那当然呢就是连到第三，刚刚闪闪闪，有没有？就是呢，把东西转开，就会选这个答案。嗯、mm. ，and、uh, also remember that dial and handle, depending on what you're talking about, can be used the same, but sometimes they can't.、Uh, we talk about the handle to a door. We wouldn't say the dial to a、uh, a door. But for many kinds of equipment or machines, dial and handle have the same usage. Okay, 好，这里的话呢，蛮重要的一个重点哦，就是说刚刚学到的 handle 手把哦，跟这个 dial 有时很多时候也都是当成手把来用。那但是因为呢，这个我们有学过，这个 dial 有时候是指拨。拨的意思哦，所以会变成说，同学们可能会有一点混淆。其实很多时候，刚刚 Bruce 老师提醒大家 ，dial 跟这个 handle 是指同样的东西。嗯。Okay,、uh, I think we're ready now for the second viewing of our dialogue. Yes,、uh, you'll have the subtitles to help you, but、uh, see how much you can understand just by listening.、Mm. That will be a good test of your listening comprehension. We're going to look at the second time. Time to use the bathroom to get ready for bed. I just want to freshen up a bit. I need to wash my face and hands. I don't need to use the toilet. Fine. 
I'm going to remove my makeup and then wash my face and hands too. <laughs> but first, we have to put our toiletries out and some towels. There are two boxes we have to unpack. This one is marked toiletries. Let me do this one. Okay, uh, I'll do this other one labeled bathroom towels. Nothing broke. I was afraid some of my makeup bottles might break in transit. That's good news. I hope this shelf is big enough to hold both our things. Yours are 10 times more than mine. You are always exaggerating. Are there enough towels for us to use at least for tonight? There are plenty in here. I'll hang two bath towels. Two hand towels. Uh huh. And two face claws. Will that be enough for you? For tonight, yes. You can put the extra towels in the small cabinet down there. We use so many every week. Uh, you mean every day. You use at least two bath towels a day. Exaggerating again. At least I like to keep clean. If I didn't change the towel, you'd use them till they turn black. Who's exaggerating now? Hey, hey, uh, let me use the sink first. I just want to freshen up a bit. It takes you forever to do that stuff. I don't, but go ahead and use the sink first. I want to pee after you are finishing here. Thanks. There, your turn. Ooh, you didn't rinse the handle and faucet. Now they're all soppy and dirty. They're fine. Don't be so picky. If you're finished here, get out of here. I'm going to have my beauty treatment. I'll meet you in bed. See you in a couple of hours. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well, we hope you understood that a lot more easily the second time. That's what it's for. Yep. Don't forget to join us again next week for lesson four. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.